What's going on people? Back with a bang. This is the Money Management back here to bring you guys another video today. So looking at this title, US stocks rally, treasury curve flattens on Fed, markets wrap. Guess what guys? Today the stock market rallied as Jerome Powell spoke. Now the reason being, or at least what I'm reading, is it seems like apparently Mr. Jerome Powell is on a lookout for higher interest rates as you see here. Powell basically said they're not afraid to keep raising the rate until inflation starts to drop. I'm intrigued to see how they do tackle this inflation issue. And as you guys know, this has been a big issue in our economy. If you guys see the housing prices where they're at right now, sky high, oil, gas, extremely high. I'm intrigued to see how they tackle this and how the market responds as well. Maybe they should have tried to increase the rates six, seven months ago instead of just now. But hey, I'm not the one who's leading this, so what do I know? But a lot of different prices are just continuing to rise and inflation is continuing to rise as well. So uh, like I said, I'm just intrigued to see how this gets tackled. And so the market started to rally. Well, if you see here, the S&P 500 rose to the highest closing level in more than a week. Basically, the past couple weeks, the past few weeks, the markets have been tanking. We saw SPY at its lowest over the past 52 weeks. And it was looking like a lot more red was coming. Now, today, we saw the opposite. The Nasdaq 100 jumped more than 2%. I don't know if you guys saw tech. AMD, Nvidia, Tesla were all rallying. You know what? Let's just go and look at them right now. Rejected. I was reading my articles and I thought, you know what? Let me make a YouTube video, just kind of talk to people about it. But let's go and look into the charts. So, yeah, Mr. J Powell had the power today and helped us start rallying. But let's just look at a few different stocks which rallied. I'll also look at some earnings plays which have been announced. But obviously, we're going to start with S&P 500. So look at the rally here, guys. I was impressed. I was really impressed today. We ended the day at over $408. Closed very nicely. $408.32. Up 2% and we're slightly up after hours as well. Compare that to last week where we jumped down all the way here, 388, I think 383 for a while. Looks like a reversal might have just occurred. I'm not banking on it yet though. But hey, this could be a good sign for the short term. Now who knows what happens from here if we start pushing back towards the 420 level or if we drop again below 400. But I'm definitely intrigued now. We've seen a glimmer of hope today with Mr. J Powell speaking. Let's go and look at tech. Look at AMD, 102.47, up 8% today. The reason I picked out AMD first is because we got an AMD calls yesterday. $97 AMD calls expiring this week Friday. And AMD has rallied about $7.50. Again, looks like a stock which is double bottom here. and started to uptrend. Could that be the sign of what's to come? I sure hope so. I know the group were loading up on $105, $110 calls. My target now is $110, probably not this week, but by next week, I would say. I like AMD where we're sitting at right now. It definitely helped fuel my portfolio today. The video is the same sort of story. These semiconductor companies just fuel in the tech rally. Okay, so on the daily chart, see hit a level or just above my support level. See this, this zone here, broke out of that, started up trending. My next level is $187.36. We are just $6 away from that. Will we get rejected there and start downtrending again? I do wonder, but I don't think so. I think we're going to break up now, push past $190, and maybe we're back at $195 soon enough. I told you guys at the weekend, NVIDIA can run up $15, $20 in a couple of days. It did $9 today. It didn't do crazy gains yesterday, but it still ran up a little bit. I'm telling you guys, tech today was carrying heavy. And if you guys know, the NASDAQ is tech heavy, which is why the NASDAQ was up the most of all the indexes. NASDAQ was up more than the S&P 500 and the Dow. We had good news today, and the reaction from the market was good. SPY rose, like I show you. We also got SPY calls yesterday, 401 calls. We've blown past that now. Check out Tesla. The stocks rose today. That's what we like to see. Tesla, 37 points. 
but again still under my level of resistance so I'm intrigued to see what happens I do wonder also if it's this little run is a opportunity for bulls to maybe get out of positions for the last time you know before we fall back down again look Tesla's still bearish overall obviously we had a good day but I just need to see what's happening with this market because it is a tricky market right now when you're not expecting it you see stuff rally other times you see stuff falling so now I want to look at Walmart because of just announced earnings I think there was some negative inflation news in regards to Walmart which saw it tank and uh, it dropped 11% on the day so obviously most of this happened overnight if you look at the look at the two hour chart there we go you can see that this little window from close yesterday still open today that's why it tanks so badly and it just continued selling off throughout today so that was one earnings play which occurred I want to look at JMIA now Jumia up 30% on the day well 31% 30.92% look at the rally that's a two hour chart the one hour chart will really show you look at this huge green candle nice uptrend I just wanted to point that out I don't have any plans to trade this but hey if anybody did catch that well done to you back to the daily yep that's the long green candle similar to the couple other stocks I looked at with the bottoming out and beginning of uptrend similar story here with Jamia but it's another day where we saw crazy market action and I'm pretty intrigued to see what tomorrow holds honestly target have earnings upcoming here we are there we go tomorrow we'll see what target does it dropped off today and then started to recover towards the end of the day I'm not sure why this is a green candle it actually sold off today so I don't know we had a red day if you look at the 50 minute chart you can see this on a closer scale or am I wrong did no target had yeah minus two percent today I don't know why it's showing it was showing a green candle on a daily but yeah I'm intrigued to see what target does I do think it's gonna push upwards but who knows maybe the Walmart news is a little bit of an indication of what's to come with target and retail so don't bank on my word of course but overall honestly better market days are coming guys you just gotta be patient you can also look at different sectors like the finance sector I think the finance sector has been not neglected but definitely overlooked in these times JP Morgan up 3% today Wells Fargo as well had a good day up 3.55% you look at the daily charts on these stocks in the financial sector they have started to uptrend there we go above the nine day moving average now but let's just jump back to tech for a second I want to look at Netflix for now so Netflix is $190 it did jump 2% today which is actually quite small for Netflix uh, one thing which came out was a bit of news regarding uh, Netflix laying off 150 employees. That's never good news. Uh, you know they've already been losing a lot of subscribers. You know their prices are probably rising. You know the news about them trying to stop people from sharing accounts. All this stuff has kind of negatively affected Netflix. But again, it still rose about 2% today, which is only a $4 gain, but still. And then uh, I know we already covered AMD, but just to jump back to that for a second. I also noticed there was an analyst upgrade which probably helped fuel AMD yesterday and today and is also yes one of the reasons that I did get in. Those bits of news usually do have a positive effect on stocks at least for a short term period and that could be just what we're seeing with AMD and let's just touch on the oil sector before we close. Oil, gas, this year you guys know the prices have been sky high and honestly this summer with summer coming up they could be getting even higher. So Exxon Mobil hit $92, which was my price target for this week. Now I'm not sure I'm going to play this, but I'm probably looking for a pullback towards the moving average. Uh, so maybe back to around $89 before getting in again on an uptrend. As we've discussed multiple times, it's got that pattern where it seems to push, pull back to the moving average, push up, and then pull back to the moving average again. So I'm looking for that something similar right there. As you can see, it's at that level of resistance here. So yeah. It was also my price target, so I'm looking for a pullback and then push up past $92.
In fact, let's just look at XLE overall so you can see the whole energy sector. Good day for the energy sector, up 1.16%. XLE itself actually broke past this resistance level. So that is intriguing. I wonder if it's going to pull back towards that level and hold before running up again or maybe break it down and then fall even lower towards the moving average. That should be cool to see. But like I said, I'm expecting them to keep pushing them up because gas prices, I believe, are way overpriced right now. But hey, it doesn't mean they can't continue to get higher. So just make sure you guys are on the lookout for uh, energy running up. Maybe also look at wheat, silver, gold in those periods of times as well. But overall, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. That is it from me. I do want to remind you guys, keep looking into getting those shares for the long term. Keep looking at what stocks you can hold for five years to come, 10 years to come, all that kind of stuff. If you do want to check into the Royal Trading Academy, it's been a great week so far. Two from two trades, two days down, three days to go. We made money off SPY calls, we made money off AMD calls. We're looking to keep continue making money going forward. Also check out the Stock Option Starter Pack. You guys know the deal. You get 10 videos, you get access to them for life. It also gives you two months free premium access, so check that out. Also check out all the other links in the description. But you guys know the deal. Stocks, you can get all different things. Just check the links in the description below. But that's it from me, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I got one to making. You got one to making. See you guys next time for another video. Peace.